Hey guys, Houston Math Prep here. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Z scores to compare two, in this case, quiz scores from two separate quizzes to determine on which quiz did this student actually do better. So suppose a student has taken two quizzes in a statistics course. On the first quiz, the mean was 32. I'm just going to jot this stuff down as we go along. So here's quiz one. We have a mean of 32. Okay, and the standard deviation was 8. Standard deviation was 8. The student scored a 44. So that would be my actual data value or my x. On the second quiz, the student scored a 28. So that's their actual score or their actual data value. The mean was 23 and the standard deviation was 3. So although when we compare just their data values on quiz 1 the student earned a 44 and on quiz 2 the student earned a 28, it doesn't we don't know that those two quizzes had the same maximum score. So we can't assume that a 44 is necessarily a better score than a 28. They're different quizzes, they may have different max scores. So what we want to look at is the z-score for each quiz. A higher z-score will indicate a higher performance. So we'll look at which score did this student have a higher z-score for, therefore which one did they perform better on. Okay, so let's calculate our z-score for quiz one. Remember that z-score will be your data value minus your mean divided by your standard deviation. So in this case, for quiz one, that will be 44 minus 32 divided by eight. Using a calculator there, that gives me a z-score of 1.5 meaning that on quiz one, the student scored 1.5 standard deviations above the mean. All right, let's do the same thing for quiz two and compare. So my z-score for quiz two will be my data value of 28 minus my mean value of 23 divided by my standard deviation of three. Using my calculator there, I get a z-score of 1.67. So, on quiz two, the student scored 1.67 standard deviations above the mean. Comparing these two values, it looks like, relative to the rest of the class, the student did better on quiz two, because we have a higher z-score. So, there's one application for z-scores when we have two different normal distributions and we want to know where did we perform better, calculate a z-score for each, and then compare. Higher z-score is going to indicate higher performance. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.